Hi guys, my name is Chris, I'm one of the F2s in Nobs and Gyne, and I'm here to talk to you about what you can expect from your fourth year placement in Nobs and Gyne. So Obs and Gyne is something that's often met with some fear, some intrepidation uh, for medical students, and it needn't be, because there are quite a few things you can do, and it's quite easy in actual facts. Um, so what I'm going to do in this sort of little brief video is tell you about what you can do, where you can go, and how you can achieve your learning needs and fill out some of your assessments. So there's several different places that you can meet your learning needs, um, one of which is the delivery suite. On here you will get to see babies being delivered, either by in theatre, like in here, where you can see them being delivered by cesarean section, or via forceps. Um, the other places you can see is going with the midwives into the individual rooms, and then you can see how a baby is delivered normally. The other places you can go to are the wards where you can go on ward round and follow the consultant and see what else you can do in obstetric medicines and other problems postnatally. You can also go to triage and shadow the SHO or the registrar there where you can see common obstetric complaints and how we manage them, including UTIs and DVTs. And finally, you can also go into the antenatal clinics where you can see either the registrar or the consultant and follow a, a new patient through and see how they are man managed antenatally. So for gynae there's also a few places that you can go to, one of which is theatre. This is particularly useful for seeing the management that you may have read about for certain conditions like endometriosis or uh, for menopausal problems. The other thing is um, you can bimanually examine a patient quite uh, well in theatre um, as they're not limited by any pain that may prevent you from properly doing a biomanual examination. The other places that you can go to are Gynae Clinic, where you can again see patients from their chronic perspective, such as conditions like endometriosis uh, and also uh, menstrual irregularities. The best place to seek acute gynae complaints is either shadowing the SHO or the wards or seeing patients in A&E, or going to the EPAU clinic, which is the Early Pregnancy um, Assessment Unit, in these places that you can see ectopic pregnancies, you can also see miscarriages and other acute guidance complaints. And finally, you can learn more about obstetric gynaecology at the dedicated teaching sessions that are run by the consultants and other specialist doctors and going to Breakfast Club. Um, the, all of the stuff that I've mentioned in this video will be covered at a comprehensive induction when you arrive at the start of your placement. Obs and Gyne is a great placement. It will help you meet all your learning needs for the specialty and also lay the foundations for a good career in Obs and Gyne should you wish to pursue one. So that's all from me. Thanks for listening and get out there and enjoy your placement.